All right, welcome back to Never Tell Me The Odds. You know, I, I didn't actually realize until just now that Never Tell Me The Odds is a reference to Han Solo and him saying in response to C-3PO giving him the odds of making it through an asteroid field, and that's why this is Millennium Falcon and, you know, Han Solo and C-3PO there. Totally missed that the entire time that we've been going through this subreddit. But now, just in case you didn't know either, we're on the same page. Let's start off with number 19, he shoots. He misses. He scores. Gonna like bounce off the house behind. Wow. That's pretty, okay. That was pretty impressive. What I wanted to have happen is I wanted him to stay facing the camera. Just be like really confident in his shot. And then he turns around at the last second and sees it go in. And he's like, yeah, I made it, of course. Having no idea what had just happened. How to spin a motorcycle. Wait, is he about to? <laughs> Imagine how confused you would be upon getting back out of wherever you went. And you're like, I swear I backed it in. I never pull with my front wheel to the curb. What? How confused would you be? You're like, there's no, there's no damage to my bike. Did someone just do a, a prank? Did someone just think it'd be funny to spin the bike around? Stupid kids always messing with me. I wonder if the truck heard something and they were like, I don't want to deal with stopping and leaving a note. So let's just hope that nothing went wrong. Chicago Bears kicker versus six inch wide goalpost. Oops, this video is no longer available due to copyright claim by the content owner. Probably the NFL. Keep calm. It's just death passing by. Oh, is this one of those avalanche? Nope, not the avalanche, but oh my God. Woo. And you're totally fine. And you're like, that's, that's gonna be the last time that I go on one of these mountain climbing expeditions. I think I've, um, I think I've had my fill. That must actually happen on a semi-regular basis though. You look up the hill, look at all those rocks down there. Even just a tiny little one, it doesn't have to be that massive piece. Just a tiny little one comes loose over time. Maybe there's a bit of rain or something and that gets rolling down the hill and it hits you in the wrong place, you're gonna have a bad time. It just seems like a really hazardous location to be camping at. Like that'll rip right through your tent, even a little one. No thanks. Uh, Chicago sh cop was demonetized, but not injured during today's Mercy Hospital demonetized. The bullet hit the officer's holster and demonetized, saving his life. Wow. That is real lucky. I hope he is able to keep that as a souvenir. I guess that that can a gun can be a defensive thing as well as offensive, I suppose. Uno and dos and tres. <laughs> See in the air when he did that? Nice. Wait, the other guy. Oh, he wasn't, he was in the air too. Wait, so hold on. Was that, so that's the team that did the kick trying to prevent the other team starting at like the 20 yard line, right? I know some sports ball rules here and there because I think the guy in the white in the beginning, he's like getting ready to receive it as the team that was receiving. And I think that, yeah, they were just trying to get it so the ball stops on the one yard line. Is that what was going on there? Because if they were trying to not be safety, they'd just catch it and just run away from the, the, yeah, sports ball, right? That's how it goes. I know how things work here. Gravity, where'd you go? Um, it's not here anymore. Why am I not floating? Apparently gravity is not found. Unlucky. That, that is unlucky. Driving under an overpass while it's being plowed. Oh God, this sounds really hazardous. Yep, that's no good. <sighs> Got that one right. Yeah. Ugh. I, I, I suppose they didn't really expect for it to be that bad. They're like, oh, I drive, I drive when it's snowing all the time. Yeah, well, that thing is kicking up just chunky stuff that's been tossed to the side of the road. Also, though. They should 
probably implement a policy to prevent that sort of thing from happening. Because it's just, what are the odds that a snowplow is going to drive over an overpass and the car is not going to be driving under at the same time? It, this must have happened to so many cars. It just so happened this is the person who had the dash cam on them. Because here in the U.S., it's really uncommon for people to have dash cams. I have them in all my cars, but it's very rare for me to see it with other people. And I recommend everybody get dash cams. I've seen too many videos of stupid drivers where if the person hadn't had the dash cam, it would have been a, a he says, she said kind of deal. And it's clearly one person's fault and the dash cam saved him. I don't know if having a dash cam in this situation would do anything because it's probably the city and the city is going to be like, eh, we're a bureaucracy, so you're not going to get your money. Bike crashes and drives itself not once, but twice. How does it drive itself twice? Oh, back, wow. Oh my God. Third time's not a charm in this situation. How does it go that fast though? I guess the throttle must have gotten jammed or something. I don't know how bikes work, but just with the clutch engaged, it's not gonna start going that fast. The bike is like, finally, I'm free. I've been trapped going around this ring for 50 laps now. It's time for me to go out on my own. Oh wait, I can't balance myself. Oh well, the flips were fun. It's, it's like a horse losing its rider and then just running off into the distance. That's, it's impressive. It made it over the fence though. That's probably the closest any bike has ever gotten to true freedom on its own. Lucky table tennis shot. Dude, I love watching table tennis clips. I don't know how they did, like how do you? Oh, he's gonna, Are you kidding me? The dude closest to us must have felt so dumb after that <laughs> happened. He's like, all right, this is a sure thing for me. Wait, what the heck? Why is it coming back? He puts his paddle up. A last resort. I may as well do it. I mean, I'm kind of screwed here, but sure. I can't hurt to stick my hand up. I like how he stays. He didn't even realize that it worked. He must have heard that the ball or felt that the ball hit, but like probably didn't imagine that it actually went back on the table. <laughs> I don't know how people can be so good at ping pong though. It doesn't make any sense to me. Cheats death twice within seconds. Why is it always in China? Oh my God. I swear these dash cam clips, it's not our security camera clips of people getting so close to bad things happening to them. It's always in China. Ah. <sighs> I don't even know whose fault it is in this situation because I've seen so many Chinese security camera dash cam videos and in so many places it just seems like a complete free for all. Like traffic lights are just optional even if they do exist wherever it is. It'll be perfectly fine, nice roads, nicely paved, traffic lights, and it's just people don't listen, they just go. It's like, all right, I'm approaching this intersection. Should I A, stop and make sure anybody else is coming? because they might not be making sure anybody else is coming, or B, just go right through. And people just go right through. It's it's so crazy. I I wonder what the per capita ac fatal accident uh, uh, is in China versus other countries where maybe there's more abiding by the rules of the road. Ugh. I don't ever want to drive in China, I don't think. It's, it scares me from all these videos. <laughs> Cause I just, I don't know who is at fault here. It seems like the dude on the scooter was kind of just going across the busy road, but maybe he's waiting for the, there for five minutes and nobody else is stopping. He's just like, all right, well, I don't know what to do here. So that didn't turn out well, but he's okay. Oh God. How is that not a head on? Oh, is he gonna like go over the top? There's gonna be a jump here and someone's gonna crest and Oh God. Are they gonna stop? They're still going. They're like, this is a race. So yeah, I, I'm assuming that was the Jeep's fault there. That there is actually an active race going on. And that Jeep was like, oh, I'm just gonna go visit my friends over in this other tent. So allow me to take the route that the cars are racing on to get over to where the other people are. God. You know, on the plus side here, probably did no damage to the, the truck that was racing. It looks like the wheel 
clip the, the Jeep. It's a little warning not to do that again. At least nobody was hurt, but they lost a mirror in that. <laughs> the car's not gonna stop. They're like, all right, now that's your fault. You're gonna deal with that damage yourself. Not stopping. I always to win. Enjoy the haircut. Ooh, that seems like such a hazardous thing to do in such a confined venue. Can you imagine if the dude got decked? He would have been out cold. Or at the very least, the song would have stopped. Unless this is something that they've choreographed, like some kind of Cirque du Soleil performance, but I get a feeling it's not. I think it was just random dumb luck that the dude on the left didn't just get whacked in the head by a guitar. That would hurt. It's, that would not be a light thing. There's a lot of momentum behind that spin. I, I mean, kind of, it's, it's pretty impressive that the dude can do the strap twirl. He did a double strap twirl because he didn't catch it after the first one. Um, <laughs> yeah, I tried doing that when I was younger, or at least like attempted to start it. And I was like, nah, my guitar is going to fly off. This isn't going to work. So impressive that he made it work, but also dangerous. Probably don't do that unless you're far away from everybody. Boing, boing, boing. Are they gonna do the thing where they run into each other? No. Oh, oh! I was, I was kind of hoping that the kid who made the shot in the hoodie was gonna like hold onto the ball and instead of going for the hug at the end that he was gonna bounce the other dude off. <laughs> but instead they went for the genuine wholesome reaction. That was good stuff, dude. That'll get you a few million views on YouTube. Or at the very least on Reddit clips. Yeah, that would have been a highlight for a while. I'd have been talking about that for at least a week afterwards in school. Do you remember that time we hit that sick shot with the yoga ball? Yeah, dude, that was that was sweet. Hey, have you you seen it? Have you seen it? Yeah, you showed it to me like ten times. But I'll watch it again because that was pretty dope. That'd be it. That'd be school for the next week. Never tell me the odds. <laughs> oh my god, really? Does that, does that count? I don't know what the rules are for accidentally doing something in basketball, but I guess as long as it's not a kick, it's probably valid. Bro, you're asking for the ball. Pay attention. He must have thought that it was a shot rather than a pass. So he's like, yeah, to be fair, did look like the first guy was gonna be shooting it. So the second guy is like, oh, all right, let's go for the rebound here. And then, no. <laughs> It worked out in the end anyway. <laughs> Probably hurt a little bit, but it worked out. At least you didn't get hit on the nose. There's nothing worse than getting hit on the nose with a basketball. Best save possible. Nope. This car not being swallowed up after the earthquake in Alaska. I think I've actually seen this photo on the news. Oh God. Can you imagine being in that situation? And just like seeing the road, the world crumble around you. And you just think, this is it. This is how I go. And then it just, it sinks a few feet and it stays level and you're in one piece. Even the car is in one piece. Maybe the suspension got hit a little bit, but dang. What would you do in that situation? I guess you just leave your car because there's going to be so much other stuff that needs tending to. Like how long is it going to be until someone can helicopter lift your car out of there? I would have a problem, okay? If this was, say there's an earthquake in LA, which is a high probability of happening in my lifetime, and I'm driving, and I have a car that I care about, and this situation plays out, what do I do? At least it's not like sub-freezing temperatures out to where I have to leave, otherwise I'm gonna get hypothermia, but I just have to camp at my car. I'd be like, I'm not leaving my car behind, okay? I'd be just, I'd be there for hours until someone somewhere figures out how to get my car out of there without scraping it. All right, that's also very important. Can't scrape the car either. So at least this is an SUV. So it might've been a little bit easier to extract, but the Jordan GT, oh boy. Let's just hope I'm not driving around and have this happen when there's an LA earthquake. Cause that, probably bigger things to worry about than, than the car, but I'm just, I'm just saying this exact situation. And the top for the last month, totally did that on purpose. Is he about to let, Pretty sure this is not, this is a video game, by the way. I don't, 
I don't think this is actual footage. Does anybody else concur? I, is this a is this a video game? I rate. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> this is this is not actually real footage. I suppose that you know there's it's still maybe unlikely that this would work out in a in an accurate simulator, but. You can also keep trying to do this over and over again until it works without having to worry about injury and and monetary damages. So I think the reason why this is top for the month is that people thought it was real. Um, it's not. But anyway, congratulations on your sick moves on iRacing. Pretty good, good stuff. I do want to get a simulator rig, so this is encouraging. Exciting stuff. Okay, but I guess the real true top of the month was the earthquake one and uh hopefully the rebuilds you know are not too consuming and people watching this if, if any of you were affected by it i hope you're okay and i guess that'll do it for the last month make sure to like if you like check out the playlist in the description if you want to catch more of these videos subscribe if you're not already and i will see you next time